Hi, I'm Asha. Welcome to another Q&A. This question is, what size wheels do you prefer day to day? And this came from Integrated Home Inspections on Instagram. So, it's a good question. Um, people are often very curious about what equipment I'm using. So, when the Triscates first came out about five years ago, I started wearing three by 110 flat setup, and I wore that setup for years and years. I really loved the the bigger wheels, the additional speed, and the smoothness over kind of rough urban terrain. So I really enjoyed that setup for a long time, and I was doing quite a lot of street skating then. And then in the last kind of 18 months, I've really sort of shifted a bit, and I'm street skating less, and I've been focusing kind of more on wizard skating and flow skating and consequently I moved on to either the endless blading or the NN skates um, 4x90 setup with a slight rocket frame. So I've been wearing those kind of swapping for about the last 18 months and I have to say I love both of them. <laughs> All right, so. Um, you, those of you who follow me know I don't have tons of different pairs of skates and I'm not, I don't like swapping equipment very frequently. So I tend to kind of pick something and sort of stick to it. So I was on 110 flat, now I'm on 4x90 rockered and we'll see what happens in the next few years. Um, I'm quite a versatile skater, so now that I'm on the um, 4x90 rockered, I can still street skate and I can still skate fast, even though it's, you know, it takes a bit more effort, uh, but I quite like the workout of that. Um, and when I was on the 110 flat, I could still do the kind of flowy wizard-like moves, even though it was a little bit more challenging. Um, so, Really, your choice of wheel size, um, I'm not sure if you can see my dog here, um, your choice of wheel size should really be dependent on what kind of skating you want to do the most. Yeah, and that's what you should um, base your choice on, not what I'm skating on necessarily. Okay, um, and I think that, you know, in general, um, people spend a lot of time, uh, I, you know, <laughs> worrying about equipment, thinking about equipment, changing equipment. And I want to just bring your attention to one thing. Beware of thinking that if you buy a particular kind of equipment, it's going to automatically create some kind of magic result. So for example, if you, um, you know, buy bigger wheels, you're automatically going to skate better and faster. You probably will skate faster, but um, I know a lot of people who skate faster on bigger wheels with a pronation that they didn't have before, um, right? So it could be that kind of thing can happen. I know people who um, have bought the wizard frames for wizard skating thinking that automatically this shorter frame, sorry, this rocket frame is going to make them a genius wizard skater overnight. And usually that is not the case. Technique, obviously I would say this, but technique is the most important thing, regardless of what size wheels you're on or what frame length you're using. And I've always said this, if people spent more time thinking about and working on their technique than talking about, you know, looking for and changing their equipment, they would get much further, much faster. So, you know, that's what I'm skating on, but more than anything, work on your technique. If you want your, any help from me to do that, check out skatefresh.com, learn online. There's a bunch of free trials there that you can um, use with my full progressions on certain lessons. So enjoy that. Let me know in the comments below. Um, what have you experienced with changing wheel sizes? Um, did you expect some miracles and were sad that they didn't happen? Or did you get the miracle? Let me know, I'd really love to know. So much love from Uganda, and I hope you have a great end of the year, and I'll see you in 2023. Bye-bye.